All right, guys, we have this new trailer here. It's a June 2024 build, and I just bought it in November of 2024. So as you can see, it's already kind of chewed up the wood from sitting for a few months, a couple holes in it, but we're gonna try to prolong it as best we can. So what do we have here? We have some old Sunoco oil, half bucket of it. I'm, I'm not sure if we'll need more or not, but I'll get more next oil change and a little, little bit of diesel in there. I didn't really have a real formula, but I'll put a little bit of diesel in there and uh, we're just gonna spread it out. I got all my helpers right here. Everybody's got a brush and then I'm gonna use the roller and uh, we're gonna see if we can't protect this a little bit. All right, so let's get started. All right, go. Put a little bit in. Here, I'll, let me put it right in the middle. Wait, wait for me. Back up, back up. Okay, Justin, start painting right there. Okay, di di dip yours in and start painting. It's real nice. Yeah, it's gonna look real nice. Okay, ja Jasper, can you dip yours in? I did a big one. No. Do the little one. Ooh. Ooh, Daddy, is black. Okay, hey, can you wipe his wipe his so it's nice and smooth? What's up, buddy? We're trying it. We're trying to get it all. We got a lot of trailer to cover. We got a lot. Don't leave any gaps. All right, so a proper trailer coat was $150 according to the interwebs for a gallon of it. This is two and a half gallons for free. All right, well, it looks like we're going to try to get a good portion covered, but it looks like it's going to darken it up at least, if nothing else. Oh, good. Good job, guys. How we doing? Good. You doing good, Jasper? Are we doing good, Jasper? Jasper, are we doing good? Jasper, oh, you... I guess that that plug's gonna have to be tossed. All right, guys, don't step in your oils. Don't step in your paints. Remember, get get some in your bucket and then walk away. He's what he's doing a lot right here. We might have to help him out with our roller. The roller makes it look really nice. And look at that. Look at the difference paint. from well, board to board. Well, my, I don't know right here. All right, guys. So hold on. We're, we're moving to the front. For example, look what I did in the back. All right. Look at the... Here we go. So it seems to work out well because they just leave gloops of it around. And I come in with a roller and roll the gloops. Looks nice. You can tell the spots where they where they leave a lot because it's a little bit darker wood right there. That's he's he's barely not even two. He's doing fine. Look at that. Daddy, he's already two. Uh oh, you fell. I told you to watch out. Okay, guys, once the whole trailer's coated, you'll have to get off and I'll finish. See, Jetson almost just lost it. <laughs> yeah. Look at back here. So this is the difference what we're looking at. <sighs> All right, look at this. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. So temperature is about 45 degrees. It's not gonna rain for the next couple days, but it's gonna be about 30 at night, 45 to 50 during the day for the next week. So we'll see how this dries. I do like the darker color. It makes it look, one, it will hide oil stains from whatever's leaking when it's on here, but two, hopefully it's gonna pre preserve the wood. Definitely looks nicer in the process too. All right, guys, look at the new hill crest. Look at that. Looks like a real deep, deep stain. The engine oil put on that. And it's still not, it's, at this temperature we might, uh, 
It might take a couple days to dry because it's about 40. But yeah, look at that. This would look really good if, uh, honestly, the, the color of the trailer, you know, doesn't match perfectly with dark wood. Probably looks probably looks better with a uh, light wood uh, when comparing it to a grayish black. But I did this for for wood protection. I did not do it for um, you know to match the color nicely. And uh, I don't know. Considering it's a free coat free coating you know just your old engine oil that was diesel oil too so it had probably had a little bit of soot in it we threw some diesel in there not much diesel maybe half a gallon in two and a half gallon bucket two and a half gallon bucket it was half full about a half gallon of diesel and the rest was engine oil so we'll see how long this takes to dry and uh so we'll come back in the morning and take another look All right, here's the next morning. It looks great. It's all dried in pretty evenly. It still is a little slick. I don't know if this is uh, water or oil. It looks like oil still. Um, it still is a little slick. It looks like it'll need a couple days in these 40 degree temps. But yeah, you can see it soaked into the wood real nice. So I'm hoping this will give us a good coat of water protection. Um, and prevent these boards from rusting or cracking at a quick pace. As you see, they've already got some, you know, they've already got some wear just from sitting on the lot. And like I said, I bought this trailer just two weeks ago and uh, you see the boards. We're already in, uh, starting to show some wear from uh, just, I guess just sitting in the sun, in the Tennessee sun for a bit, for a couple months while they're waiting to sell. And I figured I'd do this just to keep everything happy and hope to keep the water out of the wood and uh, give me a little bit of protection, uh, weather protection, because it's parked outside. So, but uh, you know, it looks good. I don't think if it was really warm, if this was summertime, I'd probably do a second coat. Um, but since this doesn't look like it's even soaked up the first one yet, I'm probably gonna wait on that until um, maybe the spring but yeah it's really simple you just roll spread it around you know it'll soak it up and uh if you've got depending on what color your trailer is it might actually look really nice as well this hill crest is like a grayish black if it was an all black trailer it'd probably look look nicer because it the dark brown and the, the black would look a little bit nicer but i like it it looks I did it mostly for protection of the wood than, than appearance, but it, I do like the darker shade as well. It looks like I stained it and looks good. So that's what we're all we're gonna film for this video. Um, stay tuned and uh, follow, subscribe, and uh, we'll try to post some more stuff. All right, thanks.